Well guys, it's time to once again rank another horror franchise during this whole October thing in the 13 days as the 12 days is left. <laughs> Okay, future for me to have for some reviews or talk movies, TV, and music, and I'm here to rank all three interpretations of Black Christmas: the 1974 one, the 06 one, and the one from 2019. So, if you guys are new to the channel, be sh thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified when new videos or live streams or post my community tab up. Otherwise, you're not going to get every single notification with those either. And also, thank you guys so much for watching. And be, be sure to like this video, comment down below how would you rank all three movies and which do you think is the best. Which do you think is worse? And be sure to share this video on all your social media. And with that being said, let's get into my ranking of all three Black Christmases. Obviously, in third place in this Black Christmas ranking is the 2019 Blumhouse one. Now, I am a fan of Blumhouse. I do like almost a lot of their stuff. Get Out. The, this year's The Invisible Man, Us, and Unfriended. I don't even mind Unfriended Dark Web. And the Purge movies are hit and miss. I'm a fan of Blumhouse. But this new version of Black Christmas, I did review it back last December. This made my worst of 2019. And this, this movie has a spot in one more list I have dedicated to involving the worst movies. But this movie is nothing more but this has nothing to do with Black Christmas. There's no Billy, there's no characters from the 06 movie or the 74 movie. This is just a Black Christmas movie in name only. That for its entirety of the majority of the runtime, is beating you over the head with the whole thing that guys suck, women rule, men have all the power, and that's basically the entire length of this movie. That's what it's trying to preach here. I still go by my positives that I said in my that review. The cinematography was nice, and the cast, despite them not having the greatest characters, it are trying the best they can. Carrie always with his over the top villain performance and his plan and his motivation didn't really make any sense whatsoever. But he was good in the movie. Emoji and Poots I liked. I liked the two newer additions. The one girl with the curly hair and then the other girl who with the boyfriend. And also you have Brittany O'Grady in here but spoiler warning she is the first one to die. Also, you don't really get much characterization for any of the girls in this new sorority except for Imogene Poots because there's this whole thing with a rape as a young child and then almost every guy in this movie is basically just a, a jerk character, pretty much. And the two good guy characters you only get to care about, they rarely do anything. You have one of them with the glasses, which he is nice, and he actually cares about Imogene Poots and her situation, and he wants to be a good person to her. And then this other, this other girl, I mean this other guy that they do have, he's at the house, and then there is a certain scene in the movie which he does tell them you're taking this whole man-hating thing so far that it's getting tiresome. What do you girls expect? Excuse me? I told you something like this was gonna happen. Okay, you humiliated those guys up there. Of course they're pissed. And that gives them an excuse to harass us? What if a bunch of frat bros had gotten up and sang a song about how I don't know, women were just bimbos who like to show off their tits, then yeah, you'd be livid. It's a little different, Smidge. How? 
Why aren't you allowed to say all this shit about men and we're supposed to just sit here and take it? Because men have all the power. Not all men have power. Did you just not all men me? Did you just not all men are rapists, Chris? Okay, I'm not. But you just lumped me in with the bad ones because I'm a man. Nobody is calling you a rapist. What? With your man hating. Man hating. What did I say that was so offensive? Just calm down. And to him, the one overly feminist girl just throws him out. And also, not to mention, the kills are just a bunch of quick colorways. Mainly. This movie feels completely tame due to that PG-13. The kills feel heavily tame in the same way Countdown did. I can go on and on for about this movie, but I've already ranted about the movie enough last year. So I'm just going to tell you, yeah, don't watch it. Coming in second place is the, the OG Black Christmas, 1974's Black Christmas. I want... I watched this back in January after I, a month after I watched the original Black Christmas and this is one of the most underrated horror movies of the 1970s. Yes, you had this and Chester Chancellor Master come out the same year, but Black Christmas, this was a really interesting idea from the producer Bob Clark. You get to care about the sorority and and the girls in this movie from Olivia Hussey to Margot Kidder. You also have the late John Saxon in here, and you get the killer of Billy in the movie. Then there's this whole other situation which I'm not going to go into because I'm going to say what I shouldn't, what is in the movie, but I'm not going to really call it out until I reviewed the film for Christmas month. You have very creative aesthetics, you have a very good score, you have very good direction, and what this Black Christmas is able to do is have to make you care about these characters and the sorority, and you get to care about the killer despite not knowing much about him. So that sense, I do give them a lot of credit for trying this, that approach, and keeping the killer's whole backstory a secret. And I really do like that. So with that being said, until that review, I'm being very vague about this. And put the original Black Christmas in number two. And number one for my favorite Black Christmas movie. Easily, you may be getting to me this nostalgia train in the comment section. But the 06 Black Xmas or Black Christmas 2006 remake. Say what you will about this remake with being overly gory, overly hulky, and not having the best of characters. But this is a, in my opinion, a more respectable remake of Black Christmas that tried to go in its own direction than the one from last year. Reasons. Yes, I did saw this at a young age, back during my elementary school days when we first first not in elementary school, but it was one day at home when I was younger, and then we did play this movie, movie me and my, my mom and my family, and I ended up really liking what they were doing here with this Black Christmas remake. I like the Christmas aesthetics, I like what they were trying to do with Billy and Agnes and this whole thing with her. Also, this movie is extremely gory. It is pretty hulky and it does have kind of some stupid moments here and there with the boyfriend thing. But Black Xmas 06, the reason why I put this in number one is because I feel like I get to care about these this sorority as much as I feel as the movie requires me, as well as the script requires me. These characters aren't the greatest written, but compared to the characters in the last Black Christmas remake. I do like the characters in this movie here a lot more, a lot more here, and just, I do, for example, the actors are really good here, you have Katie Cassidy in one of her first starring roles, Lacey Chabert, Crystal Lowe, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Michelle Jackenberg, and you do have the rest of the other cast members here who are actually really good here. The music is done very well by Shirley Walker. I do like a lot of the kills in this movie for as bloody and as gory as it is. And while it is 
while, while some people may not enjoy this version of Black Christmas, and I do, do admit it does have a lot of problems in terms of some of the violence, in terms of some, some much needed characterization for some of these characters, I live with, with this one. This one is much easier for me to get through than the one for 2019. So that was my ranking of all three Black Christmas movies, from my least favorite to my favorite in the comment section down below. What, how would you rank all three Black Christmases? Have you seen the new one? Have you seen the original? Have you seen the 06 one? I'll see you guys in the next horror related video, and you guys keep it cool.